Hallelujah. Mm. Look at that. FPM. They did it again. They did it again. They did it again. Why did no one re research it? <laughs> Although this time, both both teams, like I said, banned Nevsky for some really odd reason. Look, they did it again. It, like, we even talked about, man, these teams should watch out and probably ban the Kremlin. The Kleber. The Kleber, yes, we did mention that. But Lord. nobody seemed to notice or listen to us, my friend. Well, it's fine. They're busy doing matches. So for Kiss Aside, they have two DDs, two Gearings, a uh, Des Moines, two Fenzies, a Minotaur, a Mosva, and two Ohios. Their lineup, the two Fenzies are nice for dealing with DDs, but the problem is, is that the, the two DDs, those Clubbears are going to go run around with almost no, like, perm spotting on them. Mm -hmm. There's only two DDs to spot all of their DDs. Yes. And this is, this is a problem. Now, the Minotaur does have, most likely, radar, which means if it's detected, it'll pop its radar. It, true, it could yeah. take a it could take a Clever down. Now, notice that Frost Ruins, Forced Ruins, is now in a Venezia instead of a Stalingrad. FPM bringing uh, basically what worked against 07, five Clevers, uh Stalingrad, Venezia, and double Kremlin. Yep, they, they brought the exact same strat that they brought, did against 07 into here. But yeah, it looks like the Minotaur is being brought into middle with the Gearing Smokescreen, which means that that is a radar minnow. Absolutely. I do like this play. Very aggressive early positioning by Kiss's Minotaur. And there is the radar. He is now detecting... New Nans Kleber is at maximum range, unfortunately, so he will not get full uptime of his radar on the Kleber. But it will push him back, at least. Yep, he's been pushing him back. It's making him retreat. Look at that smoke timing. Takes the Minotaur right to the island, exactly where he wants to be. Yep, exactly. The thing is, there are twerps going out... Uh, toward the minutes over the close, those are gonna miss. So, very nice positioning by the middle, very mm. strong positioning there. But yeah, these fin, those Clebers, man, uh, lord. Clebers are one of the strongest DDs in this game. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just the fact is like pretty much we see this strat all the time where we see it like usually like, not in the NA servers. But usually on EU or the Asia or the Russians where you see the strats of the club airs. Because I, like they can punish so unrelenting and being able to move around so fast. And they also have the fringe saturation. Yep. By the way, so, that that smoke maneuver happened twice. Mind blowing was also smoked into position as a Des Moines now. So kissing, they want Bravo. And they will get Bravo. And it is now theirs. The problem is, though, the on seaside, look at the world of warships again. He's going wide behind them again. We've seen this happen before. Yep, and we've seen it against the Venezia. World, word of warships doesn't care. He's still going to push that flank. So, do you think it's early, man? Do you think we're going to see a repeat of the 07 versus FPM game? Where FPM just, um, just yeah, it, takes it's, everyone it's down? Yeah, it's going to be the same thing. Okay. So guys, let's see. Can KISS succeed where 07 failed? That's the real question here. As CVN18 coming under some radar pressure. Yeah, yeah the thing is, the, the, the Fencia can't do anything against the Clebers. He can. He can try. But... As soon as one gets spotted, it can just instantly run away, go dark, and the other one can keep shooting them. Mm -hmm. Now, at this point, it's important to note that FPM doesn't really need to do much. They've caught A and C. Yep. They're ticking points. I mean, Kiss is getting B cap points, sure, but compared to the other team, I mean, FPM is. Set to win in six minutes and thirty seconds if nothing changes. 
which of course it will. What could CV and oh big hit by I am noob CV against uh old you old Riantes Venezia as Cliver torpedoes start coming up towards him in the face. Like there's little hope of F the like, Kiss getting control of the map with the, how the Clavers are located. Like um, look at the look at the Kleber locations. You have the Kleber at A7 watching that flank. You have the Kleber at J2 watching that flank. You have the Kleber's in the middle. They pretty much have a giant just spotting everywhere. It's gonna depend on the Kleber's not taking random torpedoes and the Kleber's not getting too aggressive. Speaking of which, Valencia now is quite low. Up to the north, he just took a hit from, looks like, Colin Hanna's Kremlin. Yep. It's just the stress, like... Like, it's easily, like, easily counterable. Because the thing is, is that we saw the Clubairs even make a lot of mistakes against the 07s. Oh, yeah, they did. And the thing is, is that they still were able to punish no matter what. Okay, but there's one key difference here. Look at this. Valencia not allowing word of warships to take the flank and go up around them. This is a key thing that was different compared to what 07 did. You might recall 07 was yeah, he's doing a good go job around. denying. He's denying the um Yeah, this ship is this map is also different as well. Oh, of course. The other the other map was easier to go around with the island cover. Yep. While this map, it's easier to force the Clubairs to not do that. Yep. Football Club so the map Valencia takes another big hit from uh, Konhanas, Kremlin. Yeah. The Land of Fire is a map that is pretty much perfect for the, um... Pretty much perfect for the Clubair, uh, like, wolf pack. Well, the cap layout is different, too. Any top, any north-south map, I think, is better for a Clubair uh, turn. Uh, a a diagonal map like this is more difficult. There's just less room for a cleaver to run. Yep. And we see that as oh. Word of Warships is forced to stop, actually, instead of continuing around what he wants to do. <gasps> look at B. Look at B. Look at Kon look at Konhana. Look at his Kremlin. He is being very aggressive right now, rushing this Des Moines. Absolutely. Um, that, Zero F given. That Des Moines is most likely going to go down. Because he's because the Clubairs are going around behind, they're currently rushing him. Uh, right now, the Des Moines does have the Clubairs spotted right now. Mm -hmm. Munan. Munan is gonna go up behind. Munan does know that the Clubair is right there, and he is watching him. Oh, Roselia goes down to the Minotaur. Ah, but Roselia takes the Minotaur down with him, so it's a trade. Oh, oh no, Mind Blown did get, did get uh, stuck on the island. He is not dead yo yet. If he's able to, he may be able to ram the Kremlin in time. Yeah, this might be a huge mistake by Konhana. He's gonna, he's gonna take the ram. Oh, he uh, doesn't take the ram! Yeah. Oh he, my god! He got stuck. He got stuck on the island. He takes he a teammate torp instead. Yep, if he didn't get stuck on the island, he would have he would have uh, killed the Kremlin along with him. Kodhana, luck, skill, whatever you want to call it, comes out of this with that kill that he desperately wanted for his team. I think that was pure RNG right there. That I like, and also the misposition of that Des Moines. Hmm. It didn't look like the Des was legendary. If it was legendary, it would have been different too, right? Uh, he hit the island and got stuck. There wasn't too much helping that. Well, sure. If I'm saying if he was legendary, he could have just... Shoot. Yeah, I think he tried, but... Uh, oh, the Kremlin is about to go down. Solingrad did finish off the Fenzia. Um, I guess it's Fenzia. Yep. 
And now Kanhana is probably going to survive this. Yep. He well no, the gearing is going out of his way to make sure he's dead. He does Nine not seven, want that Kremlin to live. He does not want that Kremlin to live. But turret out on Admiral Takbir. Takes a hit. 675 oh, still. He, he, yep, he's gonna live. Oh no, Fenzia got a shot out. Oh and good kill. Good kill there by football club Valencia. Oh, and just like that, it's actually pretty close. Although FPM has a commanding point lead right now. And look at this Yahira in A cap is stuck. He's got a little bit of room to maneuver and wiggle, but not too much. There's a lot of glitch collision mechanics on this particular map. Look at I am Noob CV. Look at him just coming in ready to go. He's going to do this. I think he's going to use the Russian torpedo on this Ohio. Deepest dungeon takes a hit. Oh! Nope. Oh, that was a big mistake there. Yeah, that was I very Noob well CV. done. Yep. And now the Stalingrad is stuck bow wind to an Ohio. And that's a big mistake right there. This is going to be an easy, easy clap for the Ohio onto the Stalingrad. And the thing is, is that they're slowly starting to lose numbers, which means that they're able to start um, trying to get more and more. They have to get their points back. At this point, FPM is down by over 100,000 hit points. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, is that their Colbert's are so fast, they can just survive and just get caps. And we'll see. I mean, yeah, Hira, uh, yeah, Yahua is already g going out. He's being farmed out by the Gearing, the Moskva, and the Ohio. Yep. There he goes. Yeah, the Gearing is <sighs> probably going to go down to the Colbert. Plan uh, CVN is at 211 hit points. He's trying desperately to kill this gearing. If he can pull this off, that's huge. But he's got to deal with shells coming from the Ohio. Here they come. These shells had an in-flight movie on their way in. Nope. Yeah, they're not going to hit. They're, he's way too fast. Mm -hmm. Close. But so, yeah, it looks FDN. like a cap. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, it looks like the gearing is backing up into B cap to secure the cap. So now the time has been extended. Mm. Um, so it looks like as long as the Ohio and Fenzi can reposition properly, this should be a win for Kiss. We'll have to see. As Revel Jets Ohio is now the focus target of Venezia and Kleber. As long as they do not lose a cap, Kiss should win this. As long as they don't lose a cap. Mm. Because all they have to do is go and secure C cap. The problem is, is though, a lot of their ships are out of position mm -hmm. to head to C. So it's going to be a time game. I mean, if you look at Mew, he's already, he's already backing off. Because, yeah, there isn't that much they can do. Because the moment that one of those Clebears gets spotted by, like, one of those DDs, all the DD has to do is immediately back off, run away, and just let the teammates finish them off. Because mm -hmm. if you see, all of their forces are now gathering at sea. They're all running away. They know that the match is going to be decided by either a kill or the DD going to the cap. Two minutes left. FPM will still win. They yeah, have FPM that's it's gonna be FBM when they all they have to do is back off it's over I don't know about that we see now a uh, Munan getting within radar range of Dr. Webb's Moskva so now he's gonna have to dodge some Moskva salvos he doesn't have a lot of health left and that's gonna leave only one Kleber that can possibly challenge this gearing who is definitely going full bore to see that's the only play he has right now to win yeah, but the thing is, the moment that he gets spotted, all of the Clebears are going to be all over him. Oh, wow. What a change. 
Yeah, well, look at this clip there. Word of War Chiefs, man. MVP just coming straight in right now. He hasn't spotted he him yet. The thing is, he knows exactly where he knows exactly where the DD has to go. So well, he has yes. to. So it's very easy for him to try to cut him off. Because he's just what he's trying to do. The thing is, Moonon had a chance to hit him. And Admiral oh, got spotted for a split second. That's all so it takes. Now... Oh, there it yep. goes. Wow. Yeah, that was... FPM takes this uh, this series. Yep, congratulations, FPM. Yep, well done. Very well done indeed. Um, so I'm hoping that the semifinalists are able to watch and see that because two matches, two series in a row, they've been able to use the club airs. Hmm. And because all they all they had to do was get the point gain and be gone. They didn't lose a single club air. Yep. If you notice. Yep. All right. So yep. next room, we are looking for big M. Yep. Come on, training room. Is it just the big M? I think it's the, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I have to get everything set up again. I'd worry about getting into the match first. I, they only have 40 slots and I'm worried that they don't have enough. We'll see. Come on game. It's literally just circling like this. You know, we never have this on North America. I'm wondering if this is an EU deal. Do you play on the EU? No, you don't, because you, you have it. Nope. Yeah. Chad, I'd love to hear from you guys, though. Is this is this common for EU when you guys try to create uh, training rooms or just, just doesn't work like this? It's probably something to do with... Um... It's probably something to do with, uh, I don't even know what it's called. Okay. Ping. Have you been able to find the room yet? No, I'm still looking. Yeah, me too. I can't find it. I found it. it. Just took forever. Man, it still hasn't shown up for me. So it took. I literally. Up. I literally just had to leave it and just sit and wait. There it is. Finally. Okay. So it was rain, rain versus bonks. Yes. All right, let's go to their ban list. All right, so they banned land of fire and loop. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, not really surprised there at all. Um, let's see. They banned Rain, uh, Rain banned the Alexander Davisky and Stalin Gravis banned by Box. Yep. Yep, so we will not see Nevsky at all in these, in this best of three. Nope. So the maps are Trap, Northern Waters, Warrior's Path, Alpha Spawn goes to Box. Bonks is uh, Alpha Spawn again, and then Alpha Spawn goes to 
bumps. Yep. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. All right, cool. Oof. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we haven't talked about rain that much. Uh, so let's take a look at some information about this team. Team's three years old. They're from all over the place. They want to win in cuts. Surprise, surprise. And you can see their progress. There's a reason they're number one in EU. Mm hmm. So there you are. Let's take a look at the bracket. FPM moves on, so whoever wins this match, Rain versus Box, tomorrow gets to play against FPM. And yep. we also have Oh Boy versus VOR, and then we will most likely be casting both the finals and the third place match. So expect for tomorrow to have some good delays as we wait for certain teams to finish. All that good stuff. All right. And we have our replay that we can take a look at. Um, what was it? I don't guess FPM. All right. There's the last game that we just covered, ladies and gentlemen. Something for you to take a look at as both teams are uh, getting ready to go. Matter of fact, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to run a uh, pre-roll ad so that uh, people jump in. They can see the game without having any sort of ads or delays. And I'm also going to hit the bathroom. <laughs> so I will be right back. Okay, in the meantime, why don't you tell us, Bo, what you think is going to happen in this first match on Trap? All right, good talk. That <laughs> yeah, was a good talk. I asked you what you thought was going to happen on this map, and I just hear ba 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 ba. <laughs> I don't know, I'm too tired to think about strats. I think like what they're gonna do is just do a 10 line push with the Des Moines up to the right, which is usually what both teams do. Mm. Oh, Travis. maybe they're a Des Moines or Salem, and then they have some battleships up north. Trap is usually a fight over sea. We'll have to see if that happens. In the meantime, yeah. somebody has redeemed Pet Stevie, so I have to go Pet Stevie. Okie dokie. All right, that was a good petting. I guess. <laughs> now that's done, I guess I can do another giveaway.
Oh boy. We're about ready to go, Boog. Well, I'm already ready. I'm, I've already been here. I'm already ready to go. I'm just, I'm just chilling. Yep. All right, we are going, closing my giveaway. 